Hey, uh, welcome back to the Jones Zone, and today I'm coming at you guys with another dream. Now, this isn't uh, a very long one, but uh, I call it the Baby Gray. Okay, so undoubtedly, this is one of the most vivid dreams I've ever had by far. And it starts off with me waking up from a nap in the early evening. Before I... I went to sleep. I had been doing some research on a on my computer and I was looking into history and things like that. And so at some point I fell asleep and I didn't even realize it until I had woken up in the dream where it felt like I had woken up in real life. It's one of those dreams where you go to sleep and then you actually uh you wake up and you think that you're actually woke but you're still in the dream. It was one of those. That's how vivid this dream was. Uh, but anyways, I sit up in my bed and I turn on to the, onto my right side to get out of bed. And that's when I see this alien looking up at me, guys. There was no ambiguity or vague shapes moving about the room or anything like that. No, this was an alien standing beside my bed and he was kind of propping himself up on the edge uh, of my bed, looking me straight in the eyes with this wide mischievous grin he was not like the typical grays that have the large heads that flat face and the the dark uh, almond shaped eyes no he had the appearance of a child barely post toddler stage he had a face like a human baby but he had gray alien proportions you know uh, big blue eyes uh, he had a large bulbous head that sloped back and it kind of rounded off into the back of the of his neck. Kind of like an octopus head. Um, I'm going to say he couldn't have been no more than two and a half feet tall as he stood propped at the edge of my bed just staring uh, me right in the eyes. Now, I was kind of shocked by this, but I wasn't scared or anything. I just stared right back at the alien. I was like, aliens don't exist. You are a fallen angel. And he replied with this, like, a uh, high-pitched voice. He was like, That's right. And we lived on the Earth before you humans did. And uh, I didn't even respond immediately. I just started thinking in my mind what the alien said for a second. And it didn't make sense according to the biblical narrative. And I was preparing a rebuttal in my mind, but before I could say anything, the dream ended and I woke up. Now, after I woke up, I did some research and discovered that there are some Christians and who believe that before the six days of creation, there must have been a previous cycle of inhabitants on Earth, which was dominated by gray aliens or fallen angels, and that the Earth in its formless and void state, with the darkness over the surface of the deep that we see in Genesis 1, was actually the aftermath of a deluge that happened before the flood of Noah. And this is tantamount to heresy to be saying all of that. But, uh, now let me just say that um, I could do like an hour-long lecture going into why I don't subscribe to this fallen angel alien narrative, but... You don't really, you don't really have to do all that. All you have to do is just go to Ezekiel chapter twenty-eight, verse thirteen to fifteen, and there's an interesting uh, uh, passage here, and it reads, "You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering: the sardius, topaz, and diamond." Beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and the emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in all your ways from the day you were created. Till iniquity was found in you. Okay, so this is referring to Lucifer, the fallen angel. He was perfect in all his ways. That meant he was blameless, 
until iniquity was found in him. The Garden of Eden was made on the sixth day of creation, and at one point Lucifer was walking through the Garden of Eden while he was blameless, which meant that Lucifer and his angels had not yet rebelled against God until either after or during the six days of creation, not before. So with that being said, I'll subscribe to the notion that aliens are fallen angels, but not that they were cast out of heaven and were living on earth before the six days of creation. Okay, so uh, that's all I have to say for you. Have to say uh, that's all I have for you guys. So uh, stay blessed.